Hey guys, Alite Legionario here, and today I'll be bringing you my sixth one vs one battle on Shogun 2 Total War. This time I'll be up against an opponent, Jack Glenn 95 and he was a new player, much like myself, although I was a couple of ranks better, so I had a few better things I think. And oops, we're lagging. No, it's alright. Um, I have two units of Bow Samurai, I have three units of Katana Samurai, and I have one hidden unit of Light Cavalry. And of course I have my General, who is out here. So, um, yeah. Uh, he gets um, more money in this game. I think that's how it works when you're... Um, I'm not sure. I think that's how it works. More money um, if um, if he is the uh, less experienced player. I think that's how it works. Because I've found that I've had more money to spend, I think, than the elite players who are higher ranking than I am. So anyway, his army consists of a great deal of... Yari Yashiko, he's got, I think he's got five. One, two, no, he's got three Yari Yashiko, two Lone, Sh Lone Sword Ashiko, and three Bow Ashiko, and you might not have noticed them, but there were two flags over here that were two hidden light cavalry units, but I did spot them. So, um, I'm going to rush up, get the workshop. Um, my reason being is it increases the defense of all troops, so it'll be handy on all-round bonus, but I want to compete with him in an archer duel. Now, I've got less archers, but I've got better archers. Both samurai, as far as I can tell, um, there's less men in the unit than right, yeah, um, Bow Ashigaru, but um, they have obviously better defense, and their arrows are better against uh, armored units um, than Bow Ashigaru. Um, so if I get extra defense, um, his units will be less effective against my already well armored Bow, um, bow Samurai. Um, so I can easily just take um, them out at my pace um, because he has got more men than I do in the archery duel. Probably in better positioning too, to, in all honesty. Um, but I'm going to anchor my left flank with the building, so um, all I have to do is protect my right if he decides to do anything decisive. Um, if need be, I can rush down and uh, change position um, if he comes forward decisively. Um, but I probably wouldn't need to because I've got much better infantry, but less of them. So um, everything's looking fairly cool. Um, so I'm going to bring up my um, bow samurai to take on his bow Ashigaru. Um, like I said, though, my units are much better armoured, and they've already got the bonus of having this place as well to assist in that. Plus, I'm in loose formation, and I get the first volley. So already I've killed five men in the first volley um, of both units, I think, pretty much, um, that are up. First two units have lost um, yeah, at least um, near, near ten men now, by which point... Um, he has taken one casualty out of one of my units. That's it. So it proves my I've got the first few volleys in loose formation, um, and I've got better um, armor piercing arrows, and I have better defense against his arrows. Um, but he has got more men, and I would probably endeavor to say a slightly better position than me, um, as there's a wee bit of a um, cropping here that might um, protect him from um, my arrows a wee bit better. But um, exceptionally awesome um, looking units in my opinion. Um, do the good close up look at them. Awesome bows. Again, I don't really know a lot about Japanese um, military equipment and tactics and styles and stuff. Um, I'm more into the whole Rome period, as you no doubt probably already know. But I will um, at some point um, put some time into learning about it. So, um, this archer duel will go on for a while, so if you don't want to watch about missile duel, um, just skip ahead a bit um, in the video. Uh, already this unit here starts to rout um, under the fire, so I can change my attention, although I will most likely continue firing at it to destroy it. Um, but if I, I will change my attention over here, so um, I'm easy winning the archer duel because I've got, again, better um, archers, even though I've got less men and less men per unit, I've got better defense, I've got better armor piercing. Um, and my men are more skilled as bowmen. I think you could be quite decisive if you had a combination of bow as you go and um, bow samurai in your army. I think you could be quite, quite you know, effective with them. Um, particularly if you used um, your bow as you go um, in the capacity to 
take your tension of his uh, of your opponent's ranged units and perhaps use your bow samurai to damage his uh, well armored units and or elite units or something. Um, that might give you a upper edge in a fight. Um, you know, later on against some more elite units, but just depends. Again, if you've got a real heavy um, archer missile sort of army, um, I guess you need to be quite mobile. But again, um, I'm probably thinking in the way that I'd think on Rome Total War, so, I, you know, I might be wrong. But um, you'd want to be fairly mobile, and, I mean, a good idea. I mean, for him, what he should have done, in my opinion, is he should have uh, arrayed his men into the woods here because they would have got... Um, I imagine they still get a bonus in the woods. Um, I might be wrong though, um, but I think they do. Um, plus it would give them a little bit of protection for my arrows. I wouldn't have as clean a shooting range um, at his men. They'd be more protected in the woods. Um, I would have gone into the woods myself if I deployed where he was. Um, if I'd actually deployed where he was, I would have rushed for this as well um, to get this because his troops are inferior to mine, um, considerably inferior to mine actually, I think. I'm not sure what Lone Sword, Lone Sword Ashigaru are like. I don't think they're that great. They're probably a little bit better than Ashigaru troops, um, but nonetheless, they're probably not that great. Um, and although he has the numbers, um, my troops will make short work of his. So what do you, I mean, what do you want to do um, is quickly um, engage with his um, Yari Ashigaru, get him into Spear Wall, I think they'll probably fight better in Spear Wall, again they're probably not going to perform that great, and try and outflank from the sides my lone Ash of his lone Ashigaru, um, they probably cause a, mor a morale decreasing effect on my men, and he has the capacity to do that um, as long as his um, as long as his um, Yari Ashigaru can hold, um, and they probably can in Spear Wall, but I might be wrong, I'm, I'm not really that familiar um, with a lot of the units, but I'm just imagining what I what seems like a reasonable assessment. Um, so yeah, the missile duels go my way pretty much entirely, his second unit's starting to rout, um, I think my well, third unit's starting to rout out actually, and I mean as you can see there's a great deal of dead um, Ashigaru bowmen there as opposed to only a few um, dead bowmen here, and this unit's unfazed. Um, this unit is now out of ammunition however. Um, and I'm just moving my general around a bit. Um, I just don't want to, um, I'm not sure, I can't remember what I was doing with him, and I'm sure I had a plan at the time. Um, he'll be useful in hammer and anvil, and I like to keep him close to the troops to keep use the rally effect and boost certain units that are um, looking like they might be a wee bit flighty. Um, I've still got this unit hidden, but probably not really necessary, but just in case he comes forward, um, I have a unit available, and uh, what I was aiming to do is perhaps rush him, take his attention, and then swing it out here and around and come flying in from behind him, but by that point it would probably be over anyway. Um, so I'm going to withdraw back, and I'm going to reposition myself out here on this flank. Um, basically, I'm going to... Um, I found against players who are, are newer in games, um, you can... Like they, they, if you move your army around or you go on their flank or whatever, you just if you if you keep them, you know, you try and confuse them a bit as to what's going on. They'll make mistakes easier. Um, I mean, even you can still do that to even more uh, professional players. Um, but for, you know, if I come at him from a different angle, he might move himself, and, and I can take advantage of his disrupted um, formations and things. So. Um, if you just disorganise them, and you, sometimes the new players, and they're not, you know, they're not very sure of it, so you take advantage of that, um, and and you know, you try and use it. You know, lots of people have done it to me too when I was a new player, um, and I mean, I'm a new player at Shogun to Total War. I mean, I'm a noob really, I guess. I mean, okay, I understand some strategy from playing other Total War games, but I think that all the Total War games differ so much from one another in a lot of ways that um. Okay, basic strategy is the same, but the in-depth stuff and the unit details and what works good here and what does that and blah 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 um, on the Total War games differs in, but, um, greatly between each one. So I mean, I might be like pretty good at Rome Total War, but I'm totally new at this. Um, I'm just trying to um, relate what I know from Rome Total War, but trying to pick up the new stuff as well. So I'm going to come over here um, and. Um, form up along here, I'm going to continue firing my uh, bows into him. Um, again, though, you might remember that he had a couple of light cavalry units sitting here, so he's got some considerable numbers to um, assist him. 
Now, what he could have been using his um, um, his avatar here, because it appears to, his general appears to be a bow unit. Um, he could have used that to assist in um, dealing with my bow samurai. He could have just harassed me. Um, he could have... Um, he could have uh, ha um, used trying tried to capture the archery dojo. Although I might have been tempted to go after him with my own um, unit of um, my own general unit. But at the same time, I don't know if I want to isolate my general because in this game, that's quite it's not really a big deal in Rome to hit a war if your general dies, unless you're like a barbarian faction. But in Shogun, it makes a big deal, and that's pretty realistic in my opinion. Um, he's not a bad idea. Um, I didn't spot this until it was sort of happening. But I just let it slide. He's put the rest of these Ashigaru bowmen up here as a, in a good position to shoot me. But um, I'm just going to rush him. I'm going to rush into the woods here and spring my trap on him. Um, I'm going to fire at him, see if I can make him uh, make some bad moves. But um, my um, swordsmen are getting a nice shower from this waterfall. Um, but um, he probably should have stuck to the forest with his archers immediately. I mean, he could have um, deployed, deployed his men up here. This would have made me rethink. Um, so he's going to come forward. Uh, I'm going to rush him, though. Um, so all my ar archers narrowed ammunition, so I'm just going to use them in the melee. And um, the combat's fairly even as we rush in here. Um, he's got again, his numbers are going to work nicely. Um, but as you can see, his units are already routing, so um, it's proven that Yari Ashikaru are not that good. Um, I think, you know, I don't think he must have had spear wall on. I must admit, I've forgotten spear wall myself sometimes, but I would use it quite decisively. Um, so uh, he's probably a bit slow on the uptake with his um, light, his light cavalry. So. Um, he could have flung them around. I would have had a hard time defending against that um, with my lack of numbers. But as you can see, um, even before my light cavalry come around, um, like I planned on using them, which is probably not really all that necessary, um, his army's pretty much in full flight. So um, as you can see, my general's um, having a bit of a blast out there too. But I mean, if you look at this battlefield, um, everything dead on it's really his and not mine. Um, look at all these dead Ashigaru units. You can't really see any of his men. So it's a fairly decisive victory. And to be honest, um, uh, it's, it's not really like failure on his part. It's just that I had better stuff. And I think you know, in the matchmaking thing, it's like that. You know, I've run into tons of guys who've had better stuff than me, and I just get owned. So anyway, let's take a good look at the stats. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think, you know, you need to quickly get a good infantry unit, like a Katana Samurai or Nodachi or something, um, pretty quickly. Um, otherwise, it's going to be quite hard to fight. You know, your Yari Ashigaru are probably not going to last that long. Um, but for what I, what I can gather, I mean, they look like they get in pretty quickly, considering just how quickly they gave up then. Um... So anyway, let's just wait for this to load up. Takes a bit longer to load than other games I've had on the Total War series, but then again, it's probably a lot bigger. So any minute now, we will be able to review the stats. So here we go. Um, I had 410 men. I lost 85. And 536 left, so I pretty much came out undamaged from that. Not 536 left, I killed 536 of his men, sorry. Jack Glenn, 95, at 820 men. Um, he lost 537 and he killed 85, so... Um, but I, I feel, you know, sometimes I do feel like it's a wee bit unfair, eh? But um, as you can see, my Katana Samurai, um, Bow Samurai, loads of kills. Um, my Light Cavalry didn't get a chance, but... Um, loads of kills and experience there and uh, his army just um, he would have been better if he wanted to do the missile drill he would have been better to have formed up in that pit of woods there I think and given his archers a little bit of bonus from the woods and cover from the woods and whatnot. Um, and they might have done a lot better um, 
Spearball for his Yari Ashigaru and sort of flank around the sides with his lone Ashigaru and Hammer and Anvil with his light cavalry. Um, he had the numbers, which could have helped him. Um, but it's just a matter of his Yari Ashigaru holding, which, as you can see, they just did a terrible job. But, um, the stats are awful. I mean, it's, I mean, he did the best. I think he did the best with what he had, really. A couple of things he could have done better, perhaps, but uh, from what I could gather. But um, he just didn't have very good units. Um, as his main infantry works, really. Um, which, you know, it's pretty frustrating. I'd imagine that'd be pretty frustrating, so... Um, but, um, he's, you know, he fought well, and he was... He fought the best he could, and he was, um... He seemed friendly at the time, so, um, good game to Jack Glenn, 95. And, um... Well, guys, um... I certainly hope you enjoyed that, and it was informative, or fun, or a laugh, or <laughs> whatever. Um... Again, I'm fairly new at this Shogun 2 stuff, so um, if you, um, you know, if you've, obviously most of you are probably more experienced than I am, so feel free to leave comments, tips, I very much welcome it. Um, and, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you next time.